RK3 Designs. It's Tuesday night and we are live. And I can't even promise you how this night's going to go. I am surrounded by my friends. Hey guys, I'm Michelle. I'm with Desert Daisy Designs. Good to be here tonight. What's up everybody? I'm Mitch with Stone Coat Epoxy. So happy to be back in Southern Texas for another hands-on training and Tuesday Night Live. Likewise, I'm Keith McGinnis with KCDC Designs out of Eagle, Nebraska. Guys, I'm so excited. So our pro class starts tomorrow, and these guys are going to be helping us out. But tonight, gloves off, guys, or gloves on. Gloves I on. I guess gloves on. on. I don't have gloves, my gloves off on. Gloves for you. So what we're going to do is it we're going to have a competition. Throwdown. It's going to be the girls against them. Tag Team Edition. And what we're going to do is uh, the team is going to, like he said, tag team. So Michelle and Keith are going to start. And they're going to start the project. And then Mitch and I are going to take it to the next level. And we're going to add whatever we think we want to add to the project. So you guys need to let us know as we're going. And at the end... Who wins? All right. All righty. So, girls, hey, let us know. Hey, love and mob. Hey, guys, how are our moder moderators out there? So, say hi to everybody for me. Hey, everybody, give my moderators love. Bam. They are amazing. They are. Uh, we've got Erica, we've got uh, Vamp, and we've got Clara, guys, and they're always there answering questions. And let me tell you something they know their stuff. All right. Don't so, don't forget the star of the show. Big Daddy Kenny. Big D. Daddy. There you go. go. Hey. You know? It's the birthday week. Yes. It's my birthday week. Kenny's birthday is Woo. on Thursday, guys. Share the yes. video to celebrate the birthday boy. That's right. All righty, guys. How are we doing on audio? We are it's using good. good. We're using a, a directional mic. So, nice. all right. So let's get started. So here's the. Uh oh. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. Here's the way it's gonna go. So we already have our colors. Uh, we are starting with two uh, boards. They're the same size boards. They're two by four, and they're MDF. And we have uh, routered the edges, both top and bottom, so that our epoxy flows mm -hmm. just like we do when we do our countertops. And uh, ours is painted with the black undercoating from Stone Coat, and what Mitch and Keith did is they did the undercoating, but they made their custom color gray using the white and the black undercoating. So they have their custom yep. color. So we are ready to go. So Michelle, why don't you tell everybody what colors we're using? So this evening, y'all close your ears. Close your ears. Mm -hmm. This I'm evening, I'm going to be using Mitch. just no. resin almond. Autumn. Autumn, as Mitch says. <laughs> almond. Stone coat white opaque dye, stone coat blue green, stone coat brown opaque dye, and the stone coat bronze. And all of these can be found on the RK3 website. Right. And then, of course, when I finish my portion of it, Rhonda's going to come in and kind of upscale it a little bit with a few more additives. Oh, you got some in the back pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we mixed all our resin up. What are we going with? I'll get these two. All right. Bright green from Stone Coat. Bright, kind of looks dark green though. I've always said, yeah. why are we calling this bright green, guys? It's a little bit dark. And we got labels in. Olive, olive green from Stone Coat. This is yes, a green. good color. We don't have a stick to show up. Yeah. Already. Now, may I add, they have never done this color yeah. combination. They are literally going yeah. after a pair of shorts yeah kenny grab the shorts has. Bro. so kenny's like hey i need a melded marble sample done use these colors i said okay but i i said okay before seeing the color we're going camp would you model we're them? matching the green uh blue green camo pants you may need to model those i would model them but they're about mm. five sizes too no, small for me hopefully they but anyway right. so what else we got we got those two greens we all got right. bright green and mm. olive green yes so we have another uh stone coat color this is forest green cool very cool color. I don't see that many greens Very in the short. Cool color. No. We also have I'm worried about it. silver gray, <laughs> which is a just resin color. It's kind of a pastel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Look yeah. at y'all going and then all we pastels. Have, I know. These are our secret sauce. So we have a blue moon shimmer. Wow. 
Wow. Which is... It's going to be an accent, I hope. Color uh, Obsession. Yeah. yeah. Color Obsession. Blue yes. Moon. Okay. Yep. It's going to be wild, like just guys. resin right. and Stone Coast. Micah. We push the okay. limits so you don't have to. Right? All right. Uh, the there you go. Okay, so we'll get this. started. We'll let Michelle get started, get her colors on the table. So I had a little bit of extra epoxy. What I'm going to do is just lay this on the board. All right, so. It's going to be more of a just a little grease coat. Can I have my stick back? Oh, <laughs> you had five of them over there. You took mine. <laughs> oh. Do you need some more sticks? No. I need the one he stole. Oh. Here, I wipe this. All right. Thank you. <laughs> already, there's already there's fighting going on. And all we got is clear epoxy on the board. All right, they're done. Our turn. <clears throat> all righty. Thank you, ma'am. So this grease coat, for those of you who have never used this before, will just help ensure that your epoxy flows a little better. Mm -hmm. It's really good when you're doing dirty pores, exotic pores. Tonight, I am going to be doing a version of a Mitch Marble. Ooh, big, uh, Mitch Marble. big Mitch Marble. Big, 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 Marble. big Mitch big Marble, Marble in the house. That has a ring to it. Has a ring big, to that's it. That's why Marble. I'm going to come in and help you here and help you with the wash coat. I like yes. that. So we decided we're going to name this marble. We we gave uh, Mitch his own oh, marble. I feel honored. Yeah, so we have the big Mitch marble. Say that three times. <laughs> <laughs> that okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. I am going to start with the stone coat brown opaque dye. There will be no real rhyme or reason to the way I lay this out, but I am going to lay it out in a kind of a striation but a sideways striation. So are you saying, Michelle, so, that you're going to be random? I'm going to be random. How random? random? Pretty random. No. So random. So random. <laughs> Come on, Michelle. Be with the game here. I must have missed that video. They give me a hard time. All right, so we got a love. That's my favorite. Smack? That's my very, very, very favorite brown. That is my very, I do like this almond as well. Yeah, almond's beautiful. So this is a Just Resin product. Oh, it got quiet in here. Y'all like, y'all are, <laughs> we're, we're just watching here. They're, they're watching. plotting, they're plotting. I don't know, maybe I should slow down. Is your I'm, epoxy heating up over there? Yeah. Not <laughs> at all, not at all. We have tons of open working time. Whenever That's the beauty of it. Coat epoxy. That's right. We're in no rush. Plenty of time to get this project to look just the way you want it. That sounded well, like a commercial. That sounds like commercial. <laughs> you done it before? Well no, done. No, it just came to me. Infomercial on the live. Yes. And like, are you stressed color? at all right now? I'm not stressed. You look like you're having hey, a great time. Hey, you, you better be stop because, because you're trying, you're badgering, you're, you're badgering, no. you're badgering my person. To sell the epoxy. This is my oh, okay. happy place. Epoxy makes me relax. I enjoy okay. this. I enjoy the company. You guys are great. That's what I say too. Thank it's you. like it, be, it gets to a point where it, the work leaves, and now it's more fun than work. And you're Absolutely. Just the board, mixing it all, mm -hmm. and it takes over, and you're just having a good time. All right. So we have white now. This is going to be our stone coat opaque white. Is that going to hand melt or what? We can't tell you yet. That's a secret. Wouldn't you like to know? Ancient Chinese secret. I'm liking the color scheme though. Oh, the whole ancient Chinese secret, huh? Oh. That's right. Who knows where that commercial came from? Old Chinese secret. Ancient Chinese ancient secret. Ancient Chinese huh? secret, huh? I don't know. I want to see. We're going to give you all a prize Is if you tell me that. Secret it's off a commercial. Yeah. Rhonda's favorite, Stone Coat Blue Green. And we're going to just place this. That reminds me of another commercial that the lady would say. Well, you yeah. got to make sure. Are you watching this? I am watching. Answers? I don't even know. I don't know it either. I don't. Ancient really? Chinese secret. I don't what? know. What? Y'all are aging yourself just I like know. he did with the but, commercial with earlier. The we have a Calgon. It's not Calgon. Take me away. That's, That's right. That'll one. take. <laughs> you just dated yourself. I'm lost. Okay. I'm so lost right now. You know that commercial. Calgon, Calgon take, me, take away. me away. Of course. Okay, guys. All right. So I've got my colors on the board. Pretty colors. Thank you. Competition. <laughs> okay, so now it's y'all's turn. Y'all can put y'all's right, colors. All right, here we so go. Okay. 
right. Turn so this is what it's going to stay like for a second. For a second. We are going to torch it just to get the bubbles out while Keith and Mitch and um, put their... <laughs> put their... All right, here we go. We're going to start with our bright green and the one I already wiped. Oh, oh. olive green. Okay. I guess you'll be wanting to borrow Woo. my torch. So how are you putting yours on, Keith? Very strategically. We planned all strategically. afternoon for Oh, this. that wasn't the answer I was We have pencil for. marks outlining exactly <laughs> where he put it. This is this has been this has been planned. I'm going to go I'm going to go spy. Oh, those are very those are very similar. I think he's copying us. That has no. That's not even close. <laughs> yours is totally straight. I Do you need to borrow a little a bit in there. Shall we? Just in case Maybe. we want to accent with it? Yeah. Um, and... Well, I need some... Well, we have to... Okay, I think I'm going to leave the lighter the color <laughs> for last. These actually are very similar. Oh, that's enough change in there. Oh, yeah. I don't even need to do anything here, Keith. Mm. Oh, yes, you do. Moderate. I hope we have enough material. We got two left? Mm-hmm. Mm. What are you doing I'm over here? I'm just looking. I'm just looking. <laughs> I'm like, ooh. I haven't used this color yet. It's cool. Oh, that that gray. Silver gray. Yes, or from Just Resin yeah. is gorgeous. And it kind of picks up. Does it have? Is the green coming in from this? No, yeah. it, it has a green. It has a little well, bit of a hue in there. But it also, if you put it next to blues, It'll it really blue. picks yeah, up that blue hue. Yeah, I guess it'll pick up hue. whatever. Yeah, it is a fantastic color. All right. We need the grease coat, Keith. I think we got this. Are you, uh... You know what? I'm going to... I'm going to save some of this in there. I'm going to put some down. Save so what are you going to do? I'm gonna, yeah, we'll save some as an accent. That is, oh, that is a cool. gorgeous color. Now, how did you make that color? Is that a custom color? No. no. That's a color yes, obsession. Yes, it color. is. And it is it's also a color obsession. I'm pretty sure, right? Chinese is it a color secret. obsession? Yeah. It was in that little jar. Little yeah, jar. Yes, it okay. is color obsession. Okay, color obsession. Blue moon? And I'm obsessed yes, with that color. Blue moon okay. shimmer. Shimmer. Yes, okay. And it definitely has a shimmer. All right, so now uh, you've got oh, yours got laid, it, laid you, down. Right here. Needle in there. Hey, Mr. Kenny, you can't you can't get involved in this. I can do whatever I want. No, you're you my can't. Week. You're Switzerland. <laughs> Switzerland. Okay, ready? Okay, so this is what it's going to look like for a second. Did you torch? Yes, it's right. It, yeah. Oh, you want to borrow the torch? Oh. So you're saying... You know, you I've... I've yeah. You want prepared? Gary, if you're watching, he knows. Okay, guys. We have torched this. Hang on just a second. Sorry. She starts talking. No, go ahead. Quit. <laughs> okay, is it our turn? So we have torched this and we're ready. I'm going to come back and I'm going to blend. And after I'm done blending, I'm going to turn it over to Rhonda and we're going to upscale this little puppy. Doesn't look like much yet. But once these colors start melding and blending, this little Mitch marble is going to look really cool. Big Mitch marble. Big Mitch marble. <laughs> little Mitch marble. <laughs> Sorry, Mitch. She's all good. Good. There ain't nothing little about Mitch. Mm -mm. Well, my IQ. Your IQ. <laughs> Ooh, that's so pretty. I'm Little I Mitch appreciate Marble. the help. I'm hitting your edges for you because your name yeah. comes after me. And it's I appreciate fun. it. Pretty. We all need a good edge, man. Yes. That's it. Because <laughs> you know. We Don't got, forget your edges. No, we got no. Kenny in the uh, audience telling us. And I'm short. It's hard for me to reach all you the way You can walk around. You know that, right? Well, I don't want to get in the way of your video. I can scoot over. Here, I'll come in and help you out over here. Keith, we're help, I'll help them out, but I bet we don't see the same help. Whatever, no, what I will. just invited them to come over and mess with ours. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So you're saying now I can touch yours? That's so unsportsmanlike. Uh, very. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going there. Okay. Okay, guys. So one thing I want to say, guy, ask y'all is, you think if I put just a uh, touch of blue can y'all tell any difference in the clarity in the video? Just wondering, asking for a friend. Um, asking for a friend. Because we were, we got high speed internet, and so I want to know out there in Ooh, like YouTube land if y'all know, can y'all see the difference? Can I torch it? Yeah, can you? Because my hands. Yeah. Are do you think I need more white anywhere before you start working on it? Mm, I don't I think have so. Extra. <laughs> she said it looks the same. So it sucks then, huh? Do you want to uh, tilt it real quick? Yeah. Which way side to side? All right. Front, huh? Right. Um, like yeah. diagonal. Alrighty, so away, while we're while we're still really fluid, we're going we've t we've uh, torched it and we're gonna tilt it just a little bit just to get some movement in it. I'm gonna go up. A lot of torching going on out here. Sounds like a jet's fixing to take off. Lift it up. Let's put it up. Yeah, like at an angle. All right. So by torching this and tilting it different angles, we're going to get a really good organic movement. Also, mm. by torching different areas, we can get different areas to move faster than other areas. So if I want movement right here, I can just torch this area and get that piece to move a little faster than anything else. See how that's starting to move? And then we can go back down because we don't want it to move a lot. I think that's enough. Okay. So, guys, we're going to just kind of leave this a little bit. You guys take it over, and then we'll be back. All right, I'm going to kind of do the same thing and just warm up my resin a little bit. It's winter here the coldest it's been in South Texas since I've been here. I finally brought my overalls to wear because I've been <laughs> sweating profusely otherwise. These colors are pretty wild. So melted marble. I've been, if you've been watching our channel lately, I've been using the magic trowel like crazy lately. I've been loving that tool. I took a floor magic trowel and chopped it up into little sizes like this. And it's been making some really cool uh, marbles for me. And you were supposed to send me one. I was. Hello? Uh, my, I, I put an affiliate chicken. link in our video and sold out two Amazon stores with magic trials. No lie. That's Unacceptable. Real. So when they get restocked, I'll get some coming your way. All right, Keith. What are you doing, buddy? I'm going to meld it. Meld just it? blah, blah, blah. Okay. Blah, I'll blah, just blah. take some colors and walk them over the other. But, like, we wanted to keep it more camo-esque, but I think we're already too busy for that now, right? You know, I think with, with the whites, with the greens coming over the white, opposed to the white going over the green. Copy. Uh, might give that kind of pastel look. Maybe the colors over the white is what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. bring the colors yeah. over. I like that idea better. Ooh. That oh, is yeah. pretty. Oh, yeah. So, okay. yeah, I, Keith, I good call, I, man. Yeah, I'm I bringing dark and coming yeah. over. I'm going to do this, too. Please Ooh, do. Ooh, that is pretty. I have to say, y'all, that's pretty. Even that, that. that We were worried about this blue. Well, I mean, y'all helped you know me, what? so and let me just let me help you. <laughs> just <laughs> tidal wave it right off. And leaving <laughs> some areas <laughs> unmelted. Yeah, and you, and agreed. Then, and then you agreed. get those little ridges in there. Cool. Just make yeah. sure it covers all of it. Look how easy that is, guys. And I'm just barely holding it with just the tip of my fingers and almost letting the the weight of the trowel do the work. And then I just switch the direction I'm going so it's not a, wow. a pattern. Did it, anybody it just, ever guess your uh, your video there you were talking about, Kenny? No. You did commercial? The old Chinese <clears throat> secret. 
Nobody has guessed it yet. Ancient Chinese secret, huh? That you was don't a, remember uh, that? I don't remember. Oh, oh my know gosh. From. But I'm like the D. Do you remember the, do you know the other product era where we yeah. fast oh, you forwarded do. all yeah. the commercials? Ooh. I know what kind it of product. It starts with a T. The company? Yeah. Now, with I this melted marble, the way it looks now is going to look completely different in about 20, 30 minutes. Because Ooh, all of like those that. lines are going to soften out. That was Just really make sure cool. you get yeah, the I don't like surface that. tension. Really cool. and what happened with that is I let a, a drop hit it. All right, I'm going to try to get some over our edges here. Be ready to vote, people. For me and Michelle. Michelle and I. I'll have to Every vote right. counts. That's <laughs> What are we in high school or what? Every vote counts. Democracy is on the line, folks. We need your vote. That's right. I think everyone's so tired of voting. When I got a little surface tension, I'll kind of take my finger too and just touch it like that. Break that up. I'm liking some of the spots under melded. Ooh, but this is too much blue. I love that, Keith. Look at that. Yeah. And once so that I'm bringing some up, green into that. That's gonna look even more cool. And taking the heat that to was a it. Too I much. thought we were working one at a time on the project. Yeah, y'all are y'all are cheating. cheating. We are cheating. Okay, so y'all need to take that into account when no, you vote. No, they are cheating. Team. It's tag team. No, nope. you, you didn't well, tag him in. We're, we're tagging nonstop. It's so fast either. you're not seeing the tag. I didn't see any tags <laughs> on this team. I was holding the board. That yeah. <laughs> I'll just go mess up the edges I helped there. Hey. <laughs> I named it after you. You did. That was nice. It looks very pretty too. Ooh, that, pretty yeah. Those yeah. colors yeah. are spot yeah. on. Look right they there. They are working. Isn't that pretty right oh, there? Oh gosh, yes. Kenny, come into this I area am. right here. Isn't that pretty? I love that. Mm, pretty pretty. See, I'm being nice, y'all. I'm hitting my surface. I'm, I'm waiting for the. Uh... That's coming in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you just make those super dry areas wet. It'll all flow in. That's one thing you got to pay attention to with melted marble is those little dry spots. Now, how how much? Hey, this is a good yeah. question. Okay. How would you avoid getting, your edges. getting that the edges. in the future? What's well, an easy way? A grease coat would help a lot. Yeah, with that, like exactly. What you guys did. You put that down, then it's gonna flow, and all those spots like this, that one, that would be long gone. Right now, sometimes I actually don't put a grease coat on purpose if I don't want my colors. To move too much, right. I will intentionally not put one. Mm -hmm. But if I do, right definitely there. want my colors to flow because we all know epoxy likes to go mm -hmm. where epoxy's already been. Mm -hmm. Then that's one way to avoid getting so many of these dry areas. Yep, I'm with you. I, what I don't like is some of these spots we never hit or that. That's a boo boo. That's a drizzle off my trowel. So sometimes they look good, but that right there looks mega man made to me. So All right. Just swipe it. Swipe a rooski. Swipe it, no uh, swiping. Like Bye. What if? Where is that mesh? from? Swiper, no swiping. <laughs> y'all are, I don't watch TV, y'all. Y'all are way over my head. What's up? Um, Door of the Explorer. Door of the Explorer. Torching and. Yeah, tilting. we got a torch. We got to get rid of all the air. Right. You can see the bubbles from us Here you go. using those trowel. Here you go. Let me wipe off real fast. Here, I got you. Tag. Oh, thank you for that. We're gonna give her a tilt to Ruski. Yeah. That blue green, uh, that's obnoxious. That oh, oh, those colors look amazing. Really Who picked out those colors? That was the birthday boy. I'm not gonna take credit for that. Good job, birthday boy. All right. I would like to see some more Swiping. over that white. I don't really like that solid it's white. Too white. Hey, hey, Switzerland. Okay. I'm just saying. I need it for my cornhole boards. Ooh, we need to. Uh, well, no. these aren't these aren't them. I know, no. but it could be. If you throw that on my back wall, Mitch. I'm gonna have to get after you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have that clean before you see. Okay. All so right. that's gonna, gonna be warm this up a little bit, and then we're gonna start it. Are we gonna get Mitch? Yeah. Yeah, let's let them go. Then All right, look at this, them. guys. Something has dripped in there. I think it's just an air bubble. I mean, it's just a, like a... All right. Okay, guys, so I am finished with my portion of this piece, and I am officially going to tag my partner in.
My uh -oh. turn. All right, so before I do anything, I want Kenny to come in here and show you, look at these layers of colors and what happened. The reason that we're getting this layering effect is because when we tilted it, it caused some shifting. So what's happening is one color is shifting over the other color and you're getting this really softness of your lines. And I love, love, love that. You're getting the, you're, you just got the. Son of a gun, I'm not used to that. Kenny, Kenny just got the mic in the. It's a tip. Oops, just the tip. Uh, right I just got the, the tip of the. The foam. Mic. Yeah. Did it make a noise? I think it is. Did I they hear it? Did you guys hear the epoxy? I think. The mic. <laughs> I think he tries to uh, sabotage our piece because he he's on too, the. I went too deep. He went in for a too too close of a zoom. I, I can't get that close. Look at that. Those are little. Those are little. This is a real pretty color scheme. My yeah. Goodness. All okay. right, guys. So here's what I'm gonna do. So, we did a piece like this, similar to this, when we were in Missouri. And we did the fracturing where we just do partial fracturing. And that piece, everybody lost their mind over. So what I'm going to do, and it's very much becoming one of my favorite techniques, is I'm going to do a, like a granification where we use the spray paint and we hit it with alcohol. But I'm only going to do it on certain sections. I'm not going to granify the whole piece, okay? Uh, when you're doing your granification, in my opinion... The uh, gloss works the best, and I grabbed a satin. Will somebody grab me a black <laughs> gloss spray paint? Good catch, now, bro. you can definitely do it with a satin. But in my opinion, the gloss black works the best. Yeah. Dark colors seem to work better than the lighter colors. So, you're good. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait a minute. You gave me a dark walnut. See, he's trying to sabotage that me. Was sabotage. He was giving me the wrong color. I didn't expect him to look at it. So, <laughs> so um, when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you set your sprayer, your alcohol sprayer. You don't want a fine mist, okay? So we're not going to squeeze and do a really fine mist like this, okay? We're going to set the sprayer to where we're just mm -hmm. barely going to squeeze. I'm not even squeezing the the handle all the way we're just doing it a little bit um now before she sprayed the piece <laughs> but did i just a little bit just a little bit so before i do that i am going to add a little bit of bling so what mm. i've done is i've i saved some of the epoxy and i mixed uh some gold dust some bronze some copper and some turquoise glitter all right so i don't know if y'all can see that or not now, it's getting really thick because I've left it in the cup and I mixed it very, very concentrated. So I'm going to come in here and just ever so often, I'm going to run just a little bit of that color. And I don't want to put a lot, okay? And I want to just kind of move it. Now, because my epoxy is still fairly fluid, I know that my glitter... Is going to kind of sink but look at this right here isn't that gorgeous how it kind of sank down and I'm gonna just do a little bit of this guys I don't <laughs> want a lot of it that seems thick you have a lots of power I have a lot of glitter I that made this cool. very very I'll concentrated that, really cool. mm -hmm. that, that helps keep it from flowing as much exactly longer. yes and it also I mean, if we weren't on a live, I would probably let it sit in the cup for a good 45 minutes till, it's, till it gets super stringy because I really want that to stay, and I'm just kind of blending it out. That's a great, cool technique you've done because it's, it's natural where you see that kind of stuff in natural stone and granite. we will have a real high concentrated quartz section just in small little spots on that entire slab this mimics that really well and i'm not gonna let it just take over my piece and if you're noticing see how it's sinking down 
And so you're, it looks like it's embedded into a stone. Mm -hmm. Look how much those lines have softened up, mm -hmm. all those striations. I love the red lines in the turquoise there. It's sweet. And I don't want to take away from the colors that Michelle has picked. I don't want, when you look at this piece, that <laughs> what you see only is is the glitter i don't want that i want this glitter to just catch your eye in certain places and add to and make sure you're very conscious of not doing zebra stripe and in some places you can even get a little heavier like let's say i want this one corner right here to really be kind of heavy There. All right. That's it. All right. So now this, guys, could have been a finish all on its own way before I started this. And this right here could also be a finish all on its own. Had a couple little drips there. Quick fix. Right. But now we're going to do some granification. Now. I intentionally do not want to grant grantify or spray the black spray paint over where I just added a lot of my my uh, glitter. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to be real careful on where I put my spray paint. Easy over there. Oh, sorry. She get paint on ours. Well, All right. Monica just did with that glitter. She could do anything to my piece over Now, I'm uh -oh, going to come in here. the old Italian drip. Do the, I like to do the Italian drip first and then come back by spritzing the smaller lines because my Italian drip is going to give me the big open cells <laughs> and then the spritzing is going to give me the very small lines. Now, guys, it looks like I'm putting a lot of of alcohol in here but I'm not I'm barely squeezing and then you have to leave it alone you cannot make a decision right now about ooh, I need more alcohol here or I didn't put enough here you have to let it do its thing all right so take it away boys right. so guys what do y'all think leave me some comments down below what do y'all think Super so far cool. I think uh, the girls have pretty much knocked it out of the park on this yeah. one. Heck yeah. How about some thumbs up? Send us. Send us some love. Super. I'll really, give the thumbs really, up. It's pretty I'll awesome. So all this is going to change, guys. Y'all can't make any decisions yet. All of this moving. is going to keep moving. No, you so. have to decide now. No. <laughs> decide now. Okay. <laughs> Before it self-levels. That's right. Before it. These colors really turned out amazing. Wow. And Mitch is so fun to work with because he is like a kid in a candy store. Yeah, I won't put the tools down. <laughs> Man. I think I fracture it with some alcohol. Oh, yeah. Right? Hey, I think yeah. you guys nailed the shorts. Double Thank thumbs you. up for y'all. Yeah. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate that. So, again, Italian in the beginning, just bigger drops. I'll do the big ones, Keith. You could come back with the littles. All right. Whoa, I like it. Little Keith. And now I'm just going to spritz from a little bit higher up. Make it rain. Make it rain. It looks like rain. Ooh. Oh, that's almost a rain color. Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having second thoughts, girls. This is looking pretty cool. Yeah, it does. Uh, hey, quit squishing mine. Oh, that's it. Uh, that's it. Oh, I just oh, stuck my finger in there. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, here we go. That is pretty. Oh, my gosh. And that oh, top my gosh. Corner. Her corner? Mm-hmm. That corner? No. You better oh. stop. And when you put that oh, light on it, wow. it just becomes, yeah. it looks like an inch thick. Wow. Gives it a lot of dimension. Mm -hmm. Pretty wild. You guys did great. Yeah. Man, these are gorgeous. So this is definitely what we're going to be doing tomorrow in class. <laughs> yeah, that is yeah. super pretty. <laughs> Those colors really surprised me. For how well they go together. Mm -hmm. Me too. I was a little nervous on that bright, bright blue. 
hot, that would be too much. So you could say I might be able to pick colors yeah. out? <clears throat> you could pick my colors anytime. Birthday boy, you done good. It's pretty. You were just a little bit right there. Go ahead, show them. Right there on that white, how that green just Ooh. sold up. And a little bit right in here. Ooh. Wow. And I like what this did when you yeah. bring that white over and it sells over those other colors. Well, I know, but it's cool. Not, but wow. It's, wow. It's, Neat color scheme. It couldn't that, be any easier to make this, Keith. I mean, you blob the colors, you grab the trowel. You melt one over you the You mean this the really other, high the, dollar yeah, uh, Bondo uh, 49 <laughs> cent Bondo spreader? Yeah, not even. We can't even call this a trowel. It's a Bondo spreader. It's a Bondo, it's a Bondo spreader. spreader. Or yeah. an old credit card. Yeah. Your wife's spending too much on Amazon this holiday season. <laughs> Make a melted marble with that Amex. You'll be good to go. You'll thank me later. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. That is We know cool. what you're getting in your stocking. Yes, I'm cool. <laughs> Getting the wow. Express Don't forget your edges. Look right there. Oh, yeah. To add some viewing to it. And those cells are going to still soften up a little bit more mm. as time goes on. But man, All right, so are we going to call it? Y'all never tag teamed. No, you didn't. You yes. Y'all been cheating. Y'all been doubling up the whole That's time. That's right. Cheater, right. cheater, pumpkin eater. What? The female is the stronger sex. We need to keep compete. Some boy. Yeah, well, you, can you say that straight directly into the camera? Uh, yes, the female is the stronger, more powerful sex in all aspects. So we need to team up to keep, even compete. Yeah, the same. I, and yes. we still got destroyed. <laughs> That's yep. right. Destroy. No, you did not. This is this, very, this is gorgeous. It's very pretty. I love the way okay. you guys melded that. Though. So are we calling it? Now nah, there's it? not much more we could do. I don't know if. Graphine a mar a melted marble no. would be. Yeah, I no, wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. No, no, Y'all no. I, like I wouldn't let you. That's, it's too that's pretty. That's way too cool the way it Okay is. guys, so we are officially all stepping back. Wait, wait, wait. Nope. Get back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm walking away, Rhonda. Can you imagine? Walking away, Rhonda. That's right. I like that. So Kenny's gonna do a flyover now. Let me do do a disclaimer. If you do decide to do a gratification. In my opinion, it works best if you let your epoxy be about 30 minutes or so old and before you granify and you let it sit for a good, because this is going to continue to move and it's going to change over the next hour. So don't judge your piece immediately because when you start judging where you fractured immediately, you start adding more paint, yep. adding more uh, uh, alcohol. Uh, alcohol and then what happens is you get to a point where you're like, man, I should have stopped. Mm -hmm. So know that this is going to continue to move for about an hour. And at that point, we're going to really be able to say, okay, that's, that's the look we were going for. Yep. Um, so I just want you guys to understand that, that if this were a piece that I was doing for someone, I would not be done. I mean, I would it, it would be continuing to move, mm -hmm. okay? Same All right. With, same with the... Uh, misting the isopropyl right, on there. Exactly. I'll wait till it thickens up and mm -hmm. those cells, because sometimes the cells will soften right away. Oh, yeah. I'll wait till it thickens. Same Absolutely. Way. And, and don't forget to take the temperature of your environment into play. Yes. Correct. That plays a big part into what you do, how long you let your epoxy sit, mm -hmm. and everything you do to it, especially the granite. Absolutely. Right. So we're getting into the colder months now, guys. So that really, really plays a huge, huge issue with the way that your epoxy uh, performs. Colder weather, you're gonna have, it's gonna be thicker. Uh, a lot of times if it's thicker, if you don't warm it up before and you use a drill, it's gonna bring in a lot of air bubbles. It's gonna actually turn white on, and you'll think it's white. Those bubbles are gonna come out when you torch it, but you're gonna have to probably torch it more often. Yeah. So there's certain things that you're definitely gonna have to take into account. You want to make sure that, guys, this is super important for optimal uh, results. You need to pour in temperatures. I know a lot of people say 70 or above. Personally, I like 72 or above, and it needs to stay at that temperature for at least 24 hours. You can't pour at 72 and then turn your heat off 
And no, then for the next right. 24 hours, it dips down into the 40s. Correct. Exactly. What's going to happen is you're going to get what we call a soft cure, mm -hmm. meaning it will never get its optimal hardness. Hardness. It'll right. still cure, but it'll always be soft. You may be able to stick your fingernail in there. Well, rings will set rings yeah, on. Yes, so if you put cups. something on there, it'll it'll cause a ring. All of that is due to the fact that it was not cured in the optimal parameter of temperatures. So be you know be uh, be very mindful of your temperature. Mm -hmm. You have anything you want to no, add? No, that was perfect. I say the same thing. You got to keep it above 70, 72 is exactly mm -hmm. what I have my shop set at at home. Perfect. And then it's I I do for two days. The first two days minimum, I don't let it drop below sixty five. Perfect. Absolutely. It's too cold. All right. Good. Keith, do you have anything? Um, yeah. Hold on. We're gonna have to do the flower. Then y'all can talk again. That way, it's not over. Okay. okay. Oh yeah. All right. I got to show everybody. Comment about the the melted marble that we did. We did go with five ounces per square foot uh, because of using that melted marble technique. If you're going to put down a wash coat first, uh, you could get by with maybe four ounces per square foot. Mm -hmm. But for a melted marble, five ounces per, per square foot is a really good amount. You can see we did not lose a lot on the table. Right. The other thing, when Kenny does the flyover, take note of when we <coughs> melted that with that Bondo spreader, you could see basically the swipes. There are no swipes. That's mm -hmm. how this softens up. And you can also tell, too, of how it has softened up so much since putting on, uh, spritzing with the alcohol, but the effects are still there with the cells. Looks yep. amazing, mm -hmm. and I'm having second thoughts about it. Cool. Can I vote? No. Nope. Nope. No, we're not viewers. But I did uh, pull up the, the YouTube, and it's smooth on there with that new Wi-Fi, Kenny. Is it? Yeah, it looked good. Did y'all notice in the in the audience? You guys I see asked, how they said it, it looked the same. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> well, I noticed the difference. Okay, well, thank you. As much as it cost, yeah, it should the investment was it should be a different, huh? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love this right here. Isn't that pretty? All right, mm. so there's the guy's piece, ladies and gentlemen. Did we name that? <laughs> Swimming trunks. <laughs> Swimming trunks marble. Trunk marble. <laughs> no. Camel pants All right. marble. All yeah. right. Ooh, camel pants marble. I like that. That is a pretty piece. Ladies. Camel marble. That is true. Really Thank pretty. you guys. Ditto. Yeah, you picked the perfect colors. Mm -hmm. Wow. Sure. You melted it just the right amount right. to me personally. Thank you. You did a good job. I can over meld it sometimes with my giant bear paws. Now, did you notice one thing I really want you guys to notice, too, is when Michelle melded this together, she literally touched it mm -hmm. one time, mm -hmm. and then we left it alone. Mm -hmm. Because if you over meld... Make mud. Right, because when you first meld, you, do, you, you think you're making yeah. mud, but as it starts to move and settle, your colors start to separate mm -hmm. back out. You That's have to let the epoxy lines. do the work. Exactly. Right. And it does. If you give yeah. it the time, it yeah. really softens up. Even this one. Yeah. You know, when, when I'm like, I don't think we have enough material, as, as we let them work, and it was perfect. Exactly. I never had the patience for pots. All pots. right, so you guys need to vote, boys or the girls. Let us know in the comments, Team guys. Red and we or green. And we will post the winners tomorrow. And let me invite everybody, while y'all are voting, to our uh, RK3 Design Epoxy Insiders on Facebook. Uh, that group is growing by leaps and bounds. It is so much fun. Uh, we have uh, professionals. We have beginners and everything in between. And I love how they post all of their work. And uh, we do a lot of announcements in that group. All righty. And so when you go request to join, you'll need to answer three questions. Facebook makes us do that. Um, and then we will let you into the group. And we there's just so many people, guys, that, that help, that answer questions. And we love for you to post the good, the bad, and the ugly because that's how we all learn as a community. So tomorrow, I will post the winners in that group. Um, I'll also, let's see, I'll also post it on my regular RK3 Design Facebook page, and we'll also post pictures uh, on Instagram. Okay, well, how about all that? Pretty okay. much everybody said the girls. Yay! <laughs>
I don't think it's not even close. No. Okay, well hey, then. So, so you guys there deserve it. it. How about that? You did an awesome job. Yay. Yay. Without, Yay. without the edges done by the men. All right. Yeah. I did your edges. Hey. You did that. It wouldn't have been the same if you wouldn't have got no, the edges. Correct. So That's I, right. I made this a big Mitch marble, but is it really big Mitch marble granite? Oh, oh yeah, that's big Mitch marble granite. I can't say that. I have wow, Botox, y'all. I can't much. say that. <laughs> that is. That looks really good, though. Legit. Okay, guys. I'm thank y'all. We appreciate so much you Give joining us. Give us a thumbs up. Our hit that, last hit night that thumbs guys. up button. We have so much fun when these guys yeah. come. Now, so for the next four days, guys, we're going to be doing our pro class, and it's the last pro class for our 2022 year. And so we already have our 2023 pro class and we're working on uh, posting the 101 and we have a fabricators class now and we also have a one day epoxy basics class that we're gonna try out also see how we like it Sweet. all right so check that out sign up for our newsletter on our website rk3designs.com and with that newsletter, we're constantly sending out promos and discounts. You might want to sign up for that, guys. Hint, hint. Because I think there's some kind of a Friday coming up. Some kind of special Friday coming up. Mm. You might want to... Dark a bright gray, one? Dark gray Friday. Dark gray, gray Friday. Friday. So you might right. want to yeah. subscribe to our newsletter. All right, guys. Do y'all have anything to say? Don't forget, Big Daddy... Kenny D, birthday Thursday. Yeah. Send out the well wishes. Woo woo! 49. Wow. What was that? <laughs> what was that? 49. 49. Okay. 49. It's 40. been a long day. Do you have anything to say? I'm only 39. <laughs> okay. But I turned 40 very soon. Okay. But I'm, I, again, Rhonda, thanks for having me. This was fun. Kenny, cool colors, but I'm blaming you on why we lost. Uh, there you go. I'm that was fun. Keith, again, always fun. Uh, always I think you guys did great. Always we glad did. To be this here was cool. And, uh, you guys are amazing to work with. So yeah. It's I always a pleasure, wait. always an honor, and uh, we always come up with some pretty good stuff and have a lot of fun doing it. Yes. We do. We do. So stay tuned. We'll be going live throughout the next four days. Uh, we've got some really cool things coming to you guys. And until next week. Y'all remember? What do we do? Yes. Mm, I'm going to be creative, I think. Don't be We're scared. Gonna, <laughs> Don't be scared. Move forward. Move forward. Move forward. And, and be, be creative. creative. I think. And don't forget you got this. All Until right, next guys. Time. Bye. Adios. That's right. Adios. See you on the next one. <laughs> Happy birthday, Kenny. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Happy birthday to <laughs> me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday for everybody. Happy birthday to me. Adios.